Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today's video is going to be all about my HP sprocket. I did get it for Christmas. It's going to be a bit of a review, a bit of a walkthrough, and just a bit of a how to use it. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Alright, so because we're going to be doing a lot of things in, I'm going to zoom you on in so that you can see everything a little bit closer. So this is the actual sprocket itself. I got a gift pack. So my little gift pack came with the sprocket. It came with this little leather, oh well, not leather, but you guys get the point, fake leather case, um, as well as an extra pack of the paper. Now I've already gone through the pack that it came with and the second pack is now in it. So this pack came with 30. Each of these little packs has got 10 in them and you can buy them from the shops in packs of 20 packs of or packs of 50. So you'd get two in the 20 and five in the 50. I'm secretly hoping that we're actually going to run out of ink while we're in here because then I can show you how to redo that. Um, it also comes with a little charger. It's just USB charged. You can plug this into like an iPhone wall point and it will work just as well. Um, I have done that a couple of times or you can do it from your computer. So to run this, you're obviously going to need a phone or an iPad of some kind. Um, I have my phone. I have no battery left apparently. Um, please excuse any notifications. I need the Bluetooth turned on so I can't turn this off. Um, so you need the app. So it's here, oh, whoops, no, that's the, that's the weather. Um, this is your little sprocket app. It all runs through here. So it's pretty simple. I have a lot of photos, as you can see, uh, but I'm going to print off a couple from my Naruma trip because I do want to put them in my planner anyway. Uh, so when you click on it, you have the option to print it any way you like. So you can actually edit this a little bit. My suggestion is to edit it just a little bit. They print a little dark. So what I tend to do is just add a little bit of light to it. So you add the brightness and you just add it up just a little. You don't want it to look washed out yet. So I'm, I just, about 5% is enough. You can also mess with the contrast. You can also mess with the shadows. Completely up to you. I put all my photos through an editing software anyway. And that's just because I'm weird like that. Um, you can also play with the colors. You put some filters on here so you can make it black and white. You can make it really, really bright. You can make it another kind of black and white. There's lots and lots that you can do to it. I don't want to put a filter on it at the moment. You can put a frame on here which has text. So it's like a fun frame kind of thing. Uh, and then you can also just put a normal frame. So you've got one with little lights on it. You can have just a white. So it looks a little bit more like a Polaroid. Uh, you can have like a uh, sandy frame So it's all up to you. I'm gonna just print them just as they are for this time. So I've just made that just a little bit darker So then watch not a little bit darker a little bit brighter. Sorry So you need to turn it on the on button is on the back and you just need to hold it down Until the light comes on now. This is the only part so far that I've had an issue with It's just a pain to hold that down. So you just need to hold it down until it starts doing that You can hear it making some noise and there it goes. So now she's ready to use. I have a little blue light on the front. You can actually personalize that to be any color you like, which I didn't think you could, you would be able to do, but you can. So when you see, you see now here on the little printer, I just hold that up because that needs to be a little bit closer. I see on the little print app or the print button, there is a little green light. That now means that it's good to print. So I'm just going to hit the print button and this is going to print and we can sort of see what it looks like when it comes out. I don't know why it does this add the reveal content. It's something that you can flip your phone over it and it'll do something. I haven't quite worked that out yet, but for some reason it always puts it in there. So I just leave it. And now she's going to print. Okay, so that's my little print out. And as you can see, my phone's actually come up with an out of print, out of paper, uh, which I sort of hoped it would. Uh, so you can see the photo isn't, like it's not fantastic. For what it is, I think it's really good. You just have to sort of get over the fact that you need it to be 100% perfect. What I like to do is leave them off to the side. They do alter a little bit. Um, and then while we're doing, while that sort of cool, not cooling down or drying, that's not the right word. Um, but while that's sort of finishing its thing, I can show you guys how to change the ink. Okay, so to load the paper, what you need to do is get your little thing out. I have already opened this one up just so you guys didn't have to hear the noise. 
So you pull it out and you've got the little blue thing at the top. So what this says on it is this must be facing down. So make sure it's facing down. So we take our little lid off, put the blue thing in facing down and put the lid back on and it'll spit the blue thing out straight away. It'll kind of go like a little flashy thing on the front and it'll spit the blue bit out. So when that's done, we're now going to print out one more photo. So I'm going to give you a bit of a another shot on sort of how to print them. So I've got this little one that's actually sitting the wrong way. So I'm going to flip it. Let me flip this around first. I'm going to flip it around. So you can move any of your photos to make them either vertical or horizontal orientated, whichever you prefer. You can zoom in too if you really want to. So you can really put them wherever you like. I'm just sort of moving this to where I want it. it's straight there we go just to show you guys something I've been having the only thing I've been having an issue with is before you saw me make it slightly lighter sometimes it comes out too light sometimes it comes out too dark so I'm trying to kind of compensate for that just to show you what it looks like when it comes straight out I'm not going to make any changes to this at all I'm just going to hit print and we're going to go with it so it's just doing its little reveal content if someone knows what that is can they let me know and how I can turn it off because I don't really think I need it uh, but while that's printing out, I'm going to tell you I do know you can cut this if you don't like the rectangle or if you have a bit of something that you just want to zoom, not, not zoom, but kind of focus on a little bit, you can cut the plastic and it does have sticky on the back. So especially if you're putting into planners, it's fantastic. It is a little hard to find the edge. It's a little bit like a, there we go. It's a little bit like a sticker that you just can't quite find the edge for. And it does stick really nicely. Um, I haven't had any trouble in my planner at all. So there we go. That one's actually not too bad. It hasn't come out too dark or too light. I didn't quite make the photo, the photo straight, so it has got just a little bit of white on the edge there. I am going to print one more, and this one I'm going to do a not underwater kind of photo because the blue does sometimes wash things out just a little bit. So I'm just finding a nice photo from our trip to Naruma. do this sort of cloudy one I'm not going to play with the colors again just because I don't want to but I am going to put a frame around this one so I'm just going to grab just a plain white frame well actually I'm going to do that black one there we go and I'm going to go okay and I'm going to go actually coming out looking really nice so the oranges aren't quite as bright as they could be but I think for what it is I'm really happy with the quality of them if you wanted to go that little bit further and actually have them be really nice quality you could a get them printed at Officeworks or um, Kmart or anything but honestly who's got the time um, and I have a nice big printer here at home but I still don't want to use it because it takes too long it feels like you waste pages of paper if you just put just the little one on there I'm going to do just one more and it's more because I want to time it and get exactly how long this takes um, sort of on there. So I'm just going to grab a sort of sunset kind of shot if I can find one. Ah, I know, I'm going to do a Ryan shot. We'll do a Ryan one. Here we go. So again, I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not even going to put a border around this one. I'm going to time it. So from the second that adding reveal content goes away. So it's that sort of when it's being sent. So from now. took 49 seconds which I don't think is a bad sort of time frame for how long that takes to print like I said the quality isn't 100% fantastic you're not going to look at this and go oh my god that is the most clear wonderful photo ever but what you are going to be able to do is print on the go print quickly it's Bluetooth it comes with its own charger I didn't have any trouble at all setting it up it was simply a matter of finding the Bluetooth on your phone and changing it up and the price point isn't bad. So I got I paid $199 for my little gift pack, I guess, just before Christmas. The ink, there's no ink in it. The ink is part of the paper. 
Um, it's like a heat transfer kind of thing, I think. Um, and the paper replacements isn't too bad. So it's $28 for your 50 pack and it's and it's 18 for the 20 pack. That's not a bad price point, I don't think. It was certainly the cheapest of all the ones I found. And I'm really enjoying so far using this in my memory keeping. It's certainly giving me more of a reason to do it. And especially making those pages at the back that I sort of wasn't sure if I was going to get to go on. I don't think if I didn't get... I don't think if I hadn't got the sprocket that I had it would have been using them quite as much as I have been. So I am really enjoying this. I'm going to be using it all the time. So if you guys want to see the photos that I put in the back, I'd obviously love to share those with you. So let me know down below if you want more updates. I'm really happy with it so far. I haven't found any downside to them other than the fact that the photos perhaps don't print with as much vivid colour as I would like them to. But I think that's a small price to pay for the the ease of being able to print and the, the ability to be able to print everywhere, anywhere you like and with these little photos. I think that kind of makes up for the fact that the photos aren't particularly wonderful. But let me know what you think. Do you think that the photos are a little bit too washed out? I've got zooms all through here so you should be able to see that really, really well. So let me know what you think. Leave that down below or you can find me on any of my social medias. They're all down below for you as well. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and make sure that you're following me on all of my social medias. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye!